Yes, sir. Let's go. I absolutely love this red frame. Do y'all think we should do a color change? <laughs> I missed you, Nina. I missed you. <laughs> what you working on? PTSD seeing that stuff. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you were riding like that. Oh, yeah. Y'all can see that. I, I know, know, right? <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Fast Lane D and today we've got Nina in the back and she's officially going under the knife. She's going stage two, I am so freaking excited for this, man. This is gonna be huge. I haven't done really any power upgrades since we did the dyno tune on this bike and man, she's looking beautiful with the palm trees in the background in the beautiful sunshine state. <laughs> man, look at the glisten in that green frame with the carbon. And then the nice glisten in the paint. Sheesh, man, Nina out here shining on. I've also got some other goodies that we need to install, but I'll show you guys that once we get to Travis's house, cause uh, running late. <laughs> So as of parts, we got these two front pieces right here and right here. These go on this, so it's gonna replace this black piece. Only thing is that you literally have to take this whole bike apart and take this whole headlight fairing off in order to get that, and that is not an easy job. This is actually the intake side. You can look over here, that's a fake vent, so it actually doesn't lead to anything. On the H2R, it's an actual vent, but on the H2, they just blocked it off. I guess it doesn't need as much air in there and then i've also got this piece right here which is the front fender which i'm kind of torn on if i actually want to put that on or not i kind of like the paint that it has but this i don't know y'all comment down below do you think we should go with this but i couldn't put this on because of the brake lines being riveted i don't know if you guys can see that up in there but it's riveted on there i don't have a rivet gun or anything and then the last piece we've got is right here so this piece actually goes on the swing arm back here so boom look at that yeah but it's riveted on don't ask me why this is riveted on but it is i got these a long time ago from asv shout out to asv um if you guys want a discount on their products i've got a code that you guys can use i love asv because of the quality i mean just look at that man that is beautiful <sighs> If you know, you know. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say when it comes to this. All right, guys, we made it back to H2 heaven, <laughs> is what I like to call it. We got Travis from Jaeger Works over here back, working on uh, these beautiful bikes over here. I mean, we're not allowed to say what's being done to a lot of these things. These are people's personal builds, so I don't wanna expose anything, but we still got the bike that's gonna be turboed <laughs> over here. That's gonna be nuts when this thing is finished being built. I absolutely love this red frame. Do y'all think we should do a frame swap? Well, not a frame swap, but a color change on the frame. Y'all comment down below and see if we should stick with the green. I'm not gonna lie, I do love the green that's on this bike or these bikes. You can't beat them, but that would be kind of cool to be different. And then we got this carbon edition over here. You can always tell from the flat paint color and the carbon headlight fairing, but sheesh. Here's, here's on the first. Oh, that's sick. The black, uh, I, yeah, I've never seen a black that one. They're either the gray frame one or the green. That actually looks cool. Which yeah. bike is this going on? I mean, I mean, it's obviously pieces. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that that's one's true. from Tennessee. Dang, so you break some down, down. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> That's wild, man. How much would it cost to do something like this? Uh, so, I mean, the powder coating itself is like, depending on what parts you get, like just a frame, I think is like six, seven, eight hundred, depending on if it's candy or yeah. multi tone. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, if you start adding stuff like the rear sets and the rear frame spars and a swing arm, like yeah. that's a couple hundred bucks here and there. So, it's nothing crazy to get done. I think the biggest chunk is the labor. Yeah, just take uh, the bike apart. Yeah, I mean, you have to pull the motor, pull the entire harness, pull the whole front end, pull the suspension, the swing arm, you have to pull everything apart. Yeah. So, it normally takes like from a running bike two, three days till the frame is stripped and ready to go to the powder coaters. But okay, uh, I mean, it's definitely not a quick, cheap mod, but yeah. it definitely helps you stand out in a, in a community of these Exactly, H2s. too, yeah. No, I agree 100%. Yeah, y'all comment down below. Let me uh, let me know what y'all think. We got Braden that just pulled up, man. He got home from school. Say what's up to him, Braden. He said he uh, saw the last video that we did, which is pretty cool, man. Mm -hmm. He's got a fresh, a more fresh outfit than I had growing up, man. 
<laughs> How old are you, Brayden? 13. 13, man. Living the dream. You want a bike when you get older or no? I'm thinking about they, it. Oh, stop thinking about it. Well, you got the perfect... Uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Over here, man. It can hook you up if you uh, de definitely like to go fast or just mm -hmm. want to even just get one, man. So that's what's up, right. man. <laughs> I'll get a key tag or something for you next time. Thank you. Thank you. I got you, bro. All right, guys. Nina's been dropped off. Am I the only one that has separation anxiety when you drop your bike off somewhere? It was like so hard for me to walk away. It was like dropping your kid off at the first day of school. And they're crying like, I don't want to go. And you're like, oh, I don't want to leave you. But I know uh, we need to drop her off and she's going to be a better girl when we pick her up. I never told you guys everything's going to be done. So I'll throw the invoice up for you guys. Gears, intercooler, and a few other little things. I'll check back in with you guys when we go to pick it up in about like a week or so. We'll do the dyno video and then we'll do the reaction video and give you guys my initial thoughts on how much crazier this is going to be. Like I said, my goal is to really just push it as much as I can with the stock wheel base. All right, now I'm just rambling. I got to get to the gym. So uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in like a week. got the fresh cut we ready for miami shout out to tony man hey take for tony down in tampa got me right man you want to say anything to him tony come check it out there we go there, come there we go up. he's opened his own shop so you got to support some local uh, entrepreneurs man so and he's a rider he's got his helmet in hand we're about to go for a ride there we go. oh yeah we got rain outside. It's a little overcast out, but it's still a good riding weather. It's nice and warm. And then we got Tony's S1K. What you got done to this? We gonna see. <laughs> a little, little, little tune, nothing crazy. There we go. Got new belly pan coming on the way. Simple S1K. Yeah, no, I like these uh, generations with the headlights, the asymmetrical lights. We are headed today to go pick up Nina. Well, not pick her up, but she is done. So we're gonna go check her out. And uh, Travis is gonna explain everything that he did on the stage too, and we got some uh, special parts installed. So uh, it's a good day, I'm super pumped. But all right, enough talking. Let's get this, uh, we'll call it the warm start going real quick for you guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> So yeah guys, we we're headed to uh, Travis's house. It's about an hour ride. I won't show you guys all of that, but Tony said he'll hold ride with me for a little bit. <laughs> and the shenanigans begin. need gas because I've been doing so much highway riding down here in Florida anywhere I need to go I gotta get on the highway and then like and I know it's eating my tires up man typically on my bikes I run these super courses here I should get really sticky I mean you can already see everything sticking to it and we literally just went like a mile up the road but I'm gonna have to stick to something that has a little bit of a harder center just so I don't eat through these tires because these super courses will probably last like I don't know maybe 3,000 miles if that it just depends and I've done a track day on these tires too as you can see from the boogers here but yeah we might have to change that up so if you guys have any uh tire recommendations please let me know <laughs> of the best ones that you can do highway riding on as well and do some track days here and there as well we've got one at least every month planned so 93 <laughs> yes sir i'm telling you if, if y'all hear this bike in person <laughs> yes sir let's go if y'all ever hear this bike in person you'll understand uh what we're talking about right, let's just go through here because why not? <laughs> I think I got a branch stuck under the truck. Where the heck did he just come from? We have Travis texting me this morning that the H2 is pretty much done. And I apologize, guys. I, we weren't able to coordinate our schedule so I could go do some of the build. But he did end up sending clips of him doing stuff. So I'm going to probably throw those over as he explains what exactly got done. The dyno day... 
is on Wednesday. Today is Monday. We're actually supposed to head down to Miami this week. And I was supposed to head down on Wednesday, but with scheduling the dino day and everything being on a tight schedule, we weren't able to get the bike in until Wednesday. It is what it is, so I'm gonna end up going down a day later. What he was gonna do was put like a bass kind of soft tune on there and then allow me to get down there on time, but I was like, I'll just wait an extra day, shave a day off the trip and actually have the bike running right while we're down there. <laughs> there goes the Pinellas County Sheriff. They don't play out here in Pinellas County. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> Start curling it. It's so depressing. I'm telling y'all, it's so funny seeing people's reactions when they meet me in person. They're like, dude, you are way bigger in person. Pause. <laughs> I don't want to see any Ayo in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, it's so funny. Woo! That boy clutched it up the whole Oh, come on now. You already know, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. And that was a good one. I probably can't show y'all any of that. But uh, yeah, this is probably the most comfortable bike I can wheelie. Oh. I know, right? Why? I know. <laughs> hey, we need one for real. God, what the heck? I've never heard an S1K pop like that. That sounds like a, a shotgun going off when we got a cop. <laughs> I don't think Tony sees the cop up there. I tried to signal, there he goes. <laughs> I tried to tell you, but you took off. <laughs> I was like, oh, there he goes. Sometimes I don't even see him because I'm dipping anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this man, all would. But anyways, in one of the videos, there was a Camaro cop car. I've seen Mustang cop cars. I heard in Miami, I've seen they have a, a Hellcat cop car. The state troopers do. So I know they don't play down here, man. So I'm trying to figure out a way to identify an undercover versus just a regular white stock looking Mustang or Camaro. Chris told me you can tell by the antennas there's usually two fins. So there's a shark fin on the roof and then there's another shark fin somewhere else for all the uh, radios in there. Man, beautiful Tampa baby. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Even in this overcast weather, you can't help but have a smile on your face when you see the water and you see the palm trees. Palm trees just make me happy. They immediately put me in a good mood. When you see palm trees, you know you're about to have a good time, man. But alright guys, I'm gonna spare you guys this boring ride because it's 4 o'clock, so it's gonna be a rush hour. And uh, I'll cut to when we get to Travis's house. Good s***, bro. Good s***, man. Oh yeah, I just can't put it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's why, but oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, can see that. I, I know, can right? See that. <laughs> He's seeing the uh, the dark side of Fast Lane D. That's hilarious. I always get that too. They're like, oh, I didn't know you were down to clown. I'm like, I'm always down to clown, dog. YouTube just ain't down to clown. And the problem isn't the money when videos get demonetized, is that YouTube doesn't push it. Because y'all got to remember, YouTube is also a business. So if they're not making money on the video, they're not incentivized to push the video out to viewers. Because what's the point? They're not making any ad revenue on it. So, But I appreciate you guys that buy the merch, support any uh, sponsors that support the channel. Watch the videos, like the video, subscribe. All that helps, so... <laughs> All right, guys, we've made it back. Oh, and there's Nina. One hour later. <laughs> oh, mister, man. Good Lord. What's going on? That was a good little ride. Golly. Oh, yeah, no, that's not too bad. Good to see you, man. What's up, man? What's up, man? What you working on? Nah.
Oh man, what is that statistics? Or geometry? What is what is that? Algebra. Algebra. Oh my gosh, man. PTSD seeing that stuff. <laughs> Heck yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go. That looks so much better up front, man. Yeah. Hold on, let me get y'all off the GoPro so y'all can really appreciate this. Oh, and the levers are on there. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Let's go. That looks so much better. I like that. So we are here back at the infamous Jaeger Works. Nina, she's on the stand. Um, the man, the myth, the legend himself taking care of Nina. But before we get into this, I want to show you guys the ZX-14. I always hear people are like, you should race a ZX-14. You need to do some pulls with the ZX-14. I don't know anyone that has a ZX-14, so this is like the first one I've seen in a while. I've done some racing against one, but we were both stock. It was when Nino was stock, and then he was also very, very stock. But this is a huge bike if you've never seen one in person. What is he uh, getting done to this, Travis? Uh, just a little bit of maintenance. Uh, yeah. The bike's been, it's got a lot of miles on it, so he's doing updated clutch, uh, a couple show things, neons. Uh, just, just a couple bolt-on parts, make it a little cleaner, update it a little bit, make sure it's ready for a long, long life of riding. Yeah, y'all can see all the parts over there. It's getting installed, but pretty cool. He's got an H2, you said, as well? Yeah, so he's a Ghost H2. Yeah. His name's Joey, and he lives about 45 minutes from here. Okay. And so he's got a, a white and forged carbon Stage uh, 3 H2. Oh, man. So, yeah. So Nina, obviously, would be no uh, no contestant against that, but... Maybe we could do some pulls this versus the H2. What do you, yeah, no, you think it'll even be no, close? I'm, I'm sure Joey would be down. Yeah. Um, I think you'll you'll be fighting wheelies while he'll be trying to get as much ground as he can until yeah. you come by him. There we go. And this one, as you see, has got a little bit of a, yeah, a stretch on there. So. Yeah, stretch. Yeah. Huh. That'd be fun, though. If we were at the right speeds, then we'll see that. But anyways, all right, here's what you guys really want to see, though, is the H2. Once again, huge shout out to Travis. He took some time lapses for us uh, so that we could see the build process i couldn't get over here we couldn't coordinate our schedules it's just life man we're both busy people but uh yeah he did take those videos so you guys could see some of the behind the scenes stuff and i'm gonna throw those over as he kind of explains exactly what he did so whenever you're ready travis you can talk about each time lapse uh yeah so i mean there are a couple time lapses one of them is kind of just disassembling everything uh pulling everything apart that i need to to install everything from the woolwich harness for the dial tuning coming up here in a couple days to uh, getting the plenum off to fabricate the intercooler, the fairings off to get the exchanger, the overflow, the pump, uh, remove all the all the OEM uh, emission stuff, the exhaust servo, all the stock stuff was still on here. The the O2 sensor was still uh, plugged into the exhaust. That's been deleted. Now it's got a plug, so it's way, way cleaner looking. Um, the smog box, the pair of valve have been deleted to make room for the intercooler overflow and the uh, pump. Another time lapse was relating to the supercharger gears, so it showed a, a pretty a pretty good in detail setup of uh, deleting everything that needed to be taken out and checked and the clutch gets checked for stack height to make sure it's still within tolerance. Uh, everything gets loctited, everything gets torqued, everything gets reinstalled and cleaned once once reinstalled. And the last time, time lapse, putting it all back together, putting the front end back on, getting all the cladding, all the plastics, everything back on, uh, and everything getting wiped down and and cleaned up to make sure it leaves just as clean as when it was dropped off. Yeah, no, it looks good. And as y'all can see, he also did some bonus stuff. We got the carbon on the front fender, or not front fender, but on the front fairing here installed. So it looks so much cleaner. We also got that front fender put on there. I think it blends in very, very well um, with all the other carbon. Y'all comment down below, let me know. Do y'all like the carbon look more or do you like the look of the black chrome uh, fender on there. I don't know. I'm digging the carbon. Travis said he's digging yeah, the carbon. Yeah, I, I think it breaks it up perfectly. I think there's there's a, an even amount of carbon and painted parts on it. Yep. Uh, like I, I told you earlier, I think if it was like a carbon edition where the whole front upper, yeah. like everything was carbon, so this would be carbon, those would already be carbon, and then you went from painted to carbon, I think that would just, everything would be carbon here, so there wouldn't, it wouldn't break it up yeah. very much, but I think yeah. the fact that it's painted and in the carbon fender, I think it brings it together pretty well. Yeah, let's go, Nina. She's getting there. And then also another thing that he added on, swing arm over here. I don't know if you guys will be able to really tell the difference, but I know I will. This was a black, flat, boring piece, and now it's all carbon, so this all flows very, very well. And then you'll notice here that uh, it's got some scratches on this little heel guard. I'll probably need to replace that, but yeah, there we go. Travis grabbed the part. Yeah, <laughs> that looks awful, man. Yeah, it looks way <laughs> Compared better. Compared to the carbon, yeah, the guy's a little bit more of an exotic kind of look. So we got the sprocket cover and all the other carbon, but oh, and the last thing, the levers. I like this. The green is a little bit off, 
But I still think it looks sick, man. It's just I a, mean, it's it's honestly pretty close for a lot of the aftermarket parts yeah. I see for these bikes. Because I mean, even even if you get in detail the frame versus the fork caps, even those are oh, a little yeah, bit different. That's true. And so that's actually really close for an aftermarket product as far as the matching the Kawasaki green frame is concerned. Only other things left to do to Nina are carbon wheels. I really want to add them because with this single sided swing arm back here, having that carbon just kind of match, just kind of flowing through, I think will look really, really, really good. Obviously you guys know carbon wheels are not cheap. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll wait on that. And then the clutch cover we saw on the other H2, he had it here the other day. If they could do it in like a green that matched the frame, I'd 100% be down, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's tough with anodizing. Yeah. Anodizing is a whole bunch of whole bunch of math and figuring out yeah. at, at what temperature certain colors turn certain colors. So it's it's pretty tough to match. Yeah. So I don't know. I do want to, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to that kind of stuff, so I know it would bother me after a little bit, but. I think yeah, we're good, man. Can yeah, we start this thing up and yeah. hear it too? Yeah, no, it's got a base map. It it's so if you're really in tune with the bike, you'll notice it's a lot louder because yeah. it's moving a lot more air. Really? But it sounds deeper. Yeah, so deeper and louder. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Let's go. I love this bike. <laughs> also, other little details, I just thought of this, is we raised the bike up a little bit because you guys know I'm 250, so I'd hit any like bump on the highway and this thing would just scrape. So we raised it up some. He also took the throttle the play out of here. So I was complaining about that in my review video. He went ahead and adjusted that up here. Last thing is this cover here, debating on putting the black one on with the green interior. So I'll throw a picture up of that. He did a bike that went to guitar. It has all this yeah. stuff that we were just, uh, I was just looking at. So that kind of inspired some ideas, but only other thing I want to do is seat cover green. And uh, I think Nina will be not complete. Nothing's ever complete <laughs> if you love these bikes, but we'll be close at least. I know some of you are going to ask about the flames <laughs> that were coming out of the exhaust. Travis is working on something. Uh, to where that could potentially be an option. So that's not like a permanent thing. He just, you know, did some unplug some stuff to make that happen. But yeah, if we can make that happen legitimately where it's like on a switch, that'd be really, really, really cool. So stay tuned for that potentially. Next video will be on the dyno. We'll put this on the dyno, see how much power it makes. And then we'll get the tune and get her all right. And then she will be ready to do some racing guys. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Join the fast playing gang, bay, bay. Your boy, Rain, Nina, and Travis. We out. Peace.